I did Pilates at home for an entire month working out with Move with Nicole. And today I'm here to review my experience with that. Hi everyone, it's Esther here. I hope you're having an amazing day. If you love Pilates and you love working out at home, you've probably come across Move with Nicole. She's best known for her YouTube channel where she has over a million subscribers. However, she can also be found on Instagram as well as TikTok. Um, she even has her own website. She's such a beautiful girl and she's also extremely fit. I would describe her style of workouts as um, definitely Matt Pilates focus with a little bit of yoga elements fused into her workouts. So if you like that kind of thing, you would probably love her workouts. If you're looking for, you know, just an all out classical style Pilates without any other influences, this may not be for you. Now I found her workouts to be um, challenging yet surprisingly calming and soothing at the same time. They are predominantly low impact, low intensity. However, I did find that I worked up a really good sweat with all of her workouts. And I think a lot of that is because her, her workouts do require a good amount of strength and really require that mind muscle, um, mind body connection. So I will say in order to get the most out of Nicole's workouts, as well as I think just at home Pilates workouts in general that you find on YouTube, um, it's probably best to take a couple of private lessons from Pilates instructors in order to really understand how to um, tap into that mind muscle connection. I did definitely, I felt the burn on all of her workouts, even the beginner workouts. Um, now she does have some high impact workouts. Like she has a few high intensity Pilates workouts you can find on there. Um, but I, I really do feel like that's not her focus and that Matt Pilates is the focus, the predominant focus of her channel. One of the things I really like about her workouts is she gives really good voice instruction. So, you know, I found her workouts to be very easy to follow. I didn't have to constantly look at the screen. I could just listen to her instructions and I was able to get through the workouts that way, no problem. And she has just a really soothing voice. I think maybe that's what contributes to um, her workouts having such a calming effect. At the end of the day, I just left all of her workouts feeling um, really good, both mentally and physically. I also, I feel like she has a good variety of beginner and intermediate workouts. She has a few advanced workouts available as well. And, you know, as far as the length, good variety, they last anywhere from, she has workouts that are five minutes all the way up to an hour. Um, so, you know, if you're short on time, you can easily find a workout um, as well as if you're wanting that longer fuller class, she has plenty of those options. Now, if you've been following along on some of my more recent videos, you know that I'm just getting back into my fitness journey again and just starting that back up. I, I was recovering from a knee injury as well as just that COVID funk and completely got off track. And I'm really glad that out of all of the Pilates workouts that are available online that I did start with move with Nicole and the reason for this is that, you know, I just really enjoyed her workouts and it made me want to work out every day. And that really contributed to my um, getting that consistency back that I was looking for. And, you know, I didn't work out every single day this month, but I did find that I was very consistent and I worked out most days. And, um, you know, I definitely contributed contribute that to the fact that I was really enjoying the workouts that she provides. A thing that I really like about her is that with her workouts, um, she doesn't have a super long intro. She just kind of gets right into the workout. And I really appreciate that because I just hate when I'm ready to work out and I turn something on and, you know, there's like a two or three minute intro um, for me to actually get to the workout, but she just gets right into it. And I also really like that she has such a wide variety of workouts to choose from, um, like kind of towards the beginning, um, week one, even though I've had former Pilates training, I definitely just wanted to do something very beginner level, very basic. And so I started off with her beginner workouts and I started off with more of her 20 minute, 30 minute, even 10 minute workouts. 
um, until the end of week one where I was feeling more comfortable with the intermediate workout. So I'm really glad she provides so much variety. So I was really just able to meet myself where I was at for each day. And I also really like that her workouts are free. She doesn't charge a subscription or anything like that. And I honestly feel like you can get um, a lot of what you need out of these free workouts. If you've been to in-person Pilates classes, you know that they're very expensive. And so just to be able to get this quality of working out at home is a godsend. Most of her workouts don't require any equipment other than your Pilates mat. So, you know, if you don't have a lot of equipment laying around at your home, then you can certainly work out with Nicole without anything at all, which I love. But she also has a decent amount of Pilates workouts with hand weights as well as with the mini band. And I just really loved this. So I definitely, um, at the beginning of the journey, like I said, I did more of her beginner workouts and, you know, more of her short, shorter workouts that didn't require any equipment. Um, I started with kind of her more popular videos, which a lot of those, um, a lot of her more popular videos, they don't include equipment in the workouts. And um, you know, what I'll do is on my blog post about this, if you go to my website, noexcusegirl.com, I will list out her more popular videos so that you can reference those easily if you'd like that. Um, but then towards the end of the month, when I was getting more comfortable again with working out, I really just enjoyed those mini band workouts as well as the workouts with the hand weights. And I do recommend if you want to get the full um, effect of what her workouts have to offer that you try some of those out. So I'll also put a list on my blog post of the mini band and hand weight workouts that she offers so that you can reference those as well. Now let's talk about everyone's favorite part, the results. Um, so I do want to say I actually was going to separate this out into two videos and I had only initially planned to work out with move with Nicole for maybe like a week or two, but because I enjoyed her, her workout so much, I ended up working out with her for like over a month. And so because of that, I feel like that's long enough time to properly go, go over results. Like I hate going over results if it's been a week that I've worked out or a day. Like I've seen stuff like that on YouTube and, um, that's just not enough time to like, like I, I could lose a pound of water or something like that in, in a week, you know? So, um, I just see it as pointless, but I think a month is enough time. And, you know, I think my results, um, will speak for what I've done for this month, but I will say that, um, you know, on top of the Pilates, I'm also, I've been eating in a calorie deficit and I definitely, um, didn't follow that perfectly. I mean, we're just coming out of Christmas and New Year's. And so I definitely had my days where I didn't eat in a calorie deficit. So it was by no means a perfect, um, perfectly followed regimen. Despite that, I did get results. And I came into the beginning of the month just kind of with a few questions in my mind, like is Pilates going to be enough? Because my background you know, um, for the longest time was lifting heavy weights. And I posted a video about that as well, that you can check out on why I switched to predominantly Pilates. And so that is the, the burning question in my head is Pilates enough to get me to my fitness goals, to get me to the way I want to look as well as the way I want to feel. And that's definitely something I'm going to continue to explore for the next few months, several months, we'll see how it goes. Um, and I'll be sharing along the way. As far as weight, I have it written down here. So let's just go over those results. So I weighed in on uh, December 1st at 134 pounds. And then I weighed in yesterday, which is January 8th. So a little over a month, it's like a month and a week. And I was at 129.6 pounds is where I ended. So I lost almost five pounds. I feel like that's pretty good. And then I did take my measurements. I also checked my body fat. Um, I think it was around December 6th, I want to say. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I did that via DEXA scan. Now, I haven't gotten an update on that. I'm going to do that about three months in because that does require x-rays and exposure to radiation. And even though it's not 
that much. Um, it's not super risky. I don't want to do that every month. So I'm probably going to do that every three months. Um, but my body fat percentage and all of that, if you want to see that video, I'll post it up here um, in the cards. My measurements, so I just did largest part of my bust, smallest part of my waist, largest part of my hips. At some point, you know, I should probably start measuring more things, but I felt like this was a good start. Bust starting out was 35.5, and I ended at 35.5. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know these are enhanced, so it's probably not going to change much. Um, my waist is, it was 28 starting out. And yesterday I ended at 27 and three fourths inches. So 27 and three quarters, um, not a huge difference, but I'll take it. And then for my hips, I started off at 38.5 and now I'm at, I'm at 37.5. So I lost an inch there off my hips. I feel like that's wonderful. Now I do want to talk about a few things I was dealing with in my body. One is my back injury. So I have a back injury from about six years ago. I was working out in the gym, doing push-ups in the morning, and I wasn't warmed up yet. And I pulled a muscle like right under my left shoulder blade. And it bothers me like all the time. It gets really tense in that whole area. And I have found that just seeing a massage therapist once a month has helped immensely with that. But funny enough, um, while starting this journey, I'd missed a session um, because of my schedule. And so, you know, I had to reschedule it to where I had like a two month gap between the last one and the next one. So coming into the start of move with Nicole, it had already been over a month since my last massage and I was definitely feeling it in my back. I mean, my back was just really, really tense. And I was just like, Oh my gosh, how am I going to make it to this next session? But after I would say the week and a half mark of working out with move with Nicole, my back felt like completely better. And so it just goes to show, I think this last year, my back's been really bothering me because of my lack of movement and um, lack of blood flow and all of that stuff. And just doing Pilates, you know, it can help so much with that. So if you're struggling with back pain, you know, I think Pilates is great because it has a lot of mobility work as well as a lot of spinal work. And it just really loosened things up. I'm, I mean, I'm kind of wondering if I even need to go get a massage every month, but we're going to evaluate that as we go along. And then my knee. So um, I talked about this in, an, in another video recently, but I dislocated my patella, which is my kneecap. Um, working out at the beginning of the year. So I've been recovering from that. And oh, when that happened, I lost a lot of my workout confidence, meaning I was just afraid to do a lot of exercises. And I did go to physical therapy around September and that therapist really helped me get over a lot of those fears. Um, but I am still cognizant of it. And, you know, I'm really careful what types of movements I do. Like for example, I dislocated my knee. I was like rolling into the splits and I had ankle weights on and, you know, my leg got kind of like twerked really funny and, and that's how I dislocated the patella. And so, you know, definitely don't want to do any exercises like that anymore. Um, and I do feel like all of the exercises offered from Move with Nicole, they were very um, safe and, you know, there was nothing weird in the movements. And so I had no fear of performing these exercises and you know I had no fear of hurting my knee and all of them were easy on my knee now my knee has gotten pretty pretty good since I did dislocate it when I went to the physical therapy that helped a lot um, in working those muscles again but you know if you're someone that maybe it hurts you to be on your knees all the time I mean a lot of plat uh, Matt Pilates does require you to do exercises on your knees and certainly with this as well. So I'm not saying it's, it's right for everyone, but for me, it was totally fine. Now, I would love to hear your guys' suggestions. If you have any at-home Pilates workouts that you love to do or even Pilates-inspired workouts, um, I would love to hear any suggestions you have. 
Are there any reviews on workout routines at home that you want to see? Please comment below. But thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.